Hey there, YouTube. It's another fun little video of random information that probably nobody wants to know. Today I'm working with the Steel Combi, the KM131R. Let me just say this is a fine running tool. Uh, it runs the string head, it runs the saw, it runs the, the trimmer head just, just great. And they give you a really nice long three foot extension, uh, which is handy, especially with the chainsaw attachment. But Sometimes that motor gets a little hot, especially when you're using it directly overhead. You're reaching up on a branch that you should probably be up in the tree to cut. But, you know, we're going to cut it anyway, and we're going to use the thing straight overhead. So it gets a little cumbersome. Um, not that it's a bad thing, but it's a great running tool. So, Ryobi, consider my warranties on all this equipment void. Ryobi came out with this brushless 40-volt lithium-powered um, detachable head tool. They call it attachment capable. Uh, the only attachment right now is they have a, a string trimmer head and it's a really pretty good looking string trimmer head. It's stout enough. It's, it looks like it's easy to load the string on. But what I was looking at was the business end of her. So an old timer told me that Shindawa owns the patent on these detachable power tool drive systems. Um, so I was kind of curious as to how close they stayed to the core. So the Ryobi uses a little depressible lock button, little depressible lock button that will index in any of the three holes in any of the three positions on the head. And they give you a clamp to tighten it up a bit and add a bit more squeeze to the tube. Now this tube here is not as stout as the uh, heavy duty aluminum tube that's on the steel. By no means is it not the same kind of quality tube. As a matter of fact, they, they flare it up a little bit right here. But I'd say for 99% of everything, it's probably not gonna be the failure point anyway. So once I looked at the steel components, and hopefully the, uh, the steel police don't show up and confiscate all my few pieces of steel equipment. But if you press this down, this shaft retainer and indexer comes right on out. Not going to throw that away because I like it. But once that's complete, the square shaft for the steel, I'm going to adjust my armature here. The square shaft for the steel, the power drive shaft lines right up. The tube is the exact same diameter and it locks down just dandy. Now, would I recommend this for the home game units? No, this is professional only. Yeah, I'm kidding. Who am I kidding? Um, so the steel head goes right onto the Shindawa Ryobi brushless power tool head. Now, this power tool head has got a heck of a lot of torque. Uh, I was weed whacking with it. Decided to try it on some stuff that you probably shouldn't use a weed whacker on, more like a brush mower. And it never even slowed down. It never even flinched. Uh, once it was up to RPM... Just jam it right to it, and it was absolutely happy. Uh, it does have two settings, a high and a low, which appear to be limiting the motor, not necessarily limiting the torque or limiting the uh, change in a gear ratio. So there's no gearbox in there. It appears to be just a, an electrical unit. So with this attached, the only defect or issue that I came across was when the chainsaw head is cold and all the lube is stiff, the motor timed out just briefly like it went into a little bit of startup overload uh, but once it warmed up and i gave it a couple of clicks of the trigger it runs just dandy it cuts really fine uh, the blade is sharp i went cut through a couple of uh three inch limbs with it and it seems to have i would i would almost want to say it seems to have more torque than the steel because these, even if it loads down a little bit, it does, the torque doesn't fall off. The torque is always right there. So uh, anybody that's really interested, absolutely. Um, they're still following the original Shindawa design. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm saying that's a great thing because it allows you more flexibility with your tools. So anyway, signing off. Uh, we're going to give this one a wrap. And I give this one a big thumbs up, uh, even though I avoid all my warranties. But hey. Feel free to void your warranties. You probably broke your tools as a kid and broke all your toys as well. And uh, get into it and have fun. See ya. Bye.